Hey guys, what's happening? This is Forgo Nation. Today, I thought we'd talk a little bit about the CTP of Rage. As you guys can see, I picked up one of these babies. Um, if you guys are wondering, I'm pretty sure most of you already know this, but if you don't, right now there's a chance increase to get this thing, but guys, I would never advise doing this. I spent about 13,000 crystals. I did get two of these, which I feel that was pretty lucky, but I've seen guys spend 20,000 crystals and get zero. So, so unless you got some crystals to spend, I wouldn't recommend it. So something I want to say about this Goofy thing is I didn't comment it on before because I really didn't know much about this Goofy thing. I didn't know really, I mean yeah, we know it's crit rate and dodge. We know that it ignores bosses damage decreased by 60%, you know. Uh, the bosses, world bosses and the beasts have a huge decrease in damage received, okay. And because of the ignore boss damage decrease, you're ignoring that. You're ignoring 60% of the decreased damage received to the boss. If that makes any sense to you guys. So, so you're, you're dealing way more damage because of this thing. And a lot of, there's a lot of guys that are pretty upset about it. And rightfully so. You know, from their standpoint, you know, if I was a top player, I would be pretty pissed off too. Because this thing can make the difference between, you know, say, uh, well, I'll give you guys an example. Say you have one one player that's really awesome at the game very good at timing damage procs and they're scoring say just say they're scoring 1.8 million with magneto okay just as an example by the way that would be an amazing score but just say they are and here comes this other guy in this other alliance that isn't as good as the other player and he puts a ctp of rage well then he's going to be able to play pretty much like crap guys like he really doesn't have to have a skill rotation he really doesn't have to there's not much skill involved in it and that's why people are pissed off you know as a player that has practiced hours and hours and hours to do rotations to time damage procs uh, it does kind of upset you a little bit now for me I'm not pissed off about it because as I've said before I'm excited about having something new and different to make videos about, to talk about, to have discussions about. So I'm pretty happy with it. And this thing isn't as OP as what everybody says. Yes, if you put the goofy thing on Captain Marvel, yeah, it's OP. You know, and that's because of her her passive here, which increases all buff effect by 20% and duration by 30%. She's increasing everything on that freaking dan on that um CTP of Rage. She's making it way stronger. That's why she can score, you know, 3 million in ABX with that thing. Without it, she can't even hit 2 million, and that's on a top account. You know, the difference I've seen was a guy hitting 1.9 million, when he put a CTP of Rage, he could hit almost 3 million. So yeah, for her, it makes a huge difference. And any, any character that would have this kind of passive would make a huge difference. But for other characters, it really doesn't. I mean, some it will, some it won't. And we'll get in that, we'll get into that in another video. But this video, I just want to primarily focus on how easy it is to play like someone like Magneto now and get a higher score with the CTP of Rage. Now, if we get out of here, and let's see here, and we take a look at a uh, CTP of Energy. The way this thing operates, guys, is you have a 10% chance when attacking for this thing to proc. And it says increase damage by 200% for one attack and it lasts for five seconds. So guys, the, the, C, the CTP of energy or any regular damage proc on another obelisk, you only get the damage proc that 200% or 180 or 160 or 140 or whatever it is. You only get that for one attack. That's why it's so important to time damage procs. You're trying to get that damage proc on the main damaging skill from the character. You know, for example, like Cable. You know, when you're playing Cable, his main damaging skill is his five. So when the, you want that damage proc to proc on the five, 
You then you let it run its course and then you run through the skills and try to time the proc to where it hits on the five again. If you're in the proc and you cancel into another skill, you lose all that damage. You'll cancel the proc, you'll cancel this damage proc. That's the big difference between this obelisk and any other regular damage proc obelisk compared to the CTP of Rage. Whereas this goofy thing, where it's proccing five out of seven seconds. As you guys can see, it's got a seven second cooldown. Same as the damage proc, but the difference is this thing will last for the whole five seconds. You don't cancel this proc. You're not canceling this thing at all. So you can do two, three, four skills while this proc is engaged and you're gonna get this damage from it throughout all of the skills. That's why it's so much easier to play. You don't have to time a damage proc. <laughs> You're just pretty much just playing. So it, it's, it's kind of, I mean, that kind of sucks, but I've done a lot of testing with this thing. You guys, look, I'll, I'll, you guys will see that I'll put out another video and I'll show you guys that this thing is not as OP as you think it is. You know, this video is going to show just how stupid easy it is to play with this thing. That's all I want to show in this video how easy it is, you know, that you can do quite a bit better, at least with Magneto for sure, and Captain Marvel of course, and you know, we're gonna have to experiment, but I have some ideas about this thing, maybe some uh, things that aren't so good about it, that, I mean, it's awesome that the proc stays engaged for the whole five seconds, that's, that's nutso, but there, it's, there are things about it that I'm noticing that I don't like so much but I'm gonna get into that in another video so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into ABX we're gonna run him with this CTP of rage and we're gonna see how he does let's rock and roll okay guys so I average about 1.2 to 1.3 million being my max with Magneto you guys are going to see that he's going to destroy that score. And all I'm doing is spamming these skills. I'm just running through them. There's no skill here. I'm not freaking trying to time anything. I'm just beep, 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 beep. You know, just, just pushing whatever. I'm not, even, I'm not even trying. And this is the thing that sucks about it. And the thing that's really not fair, especially to top players or really any player that takes the game seriously and takes ABX seriously. I mean, we... You, I mean, when you spend hours and hours and hours practicing, and then something like this comes along, and you're just like, what the hell? Like, this is a freaking joke. You know, it's a game-changing obelisk for, you know, quite a few characters. You know, a lot of characters, actually. And it just... You gotta see how stupid easy this is. It's nothing. I mean, I'm not timing nothing. Magneto requires very good timing with the damage proc. I mean, you gotta time him beautifully to get the optimal damage out of him. And with this goofy thing, I'm just pressing buttons. All I'm doing is every skill that I see off cooldown, I hit it. I see the tier three off cooldown, I hit it. And that's all I'm doing. It's just, there's no challenge to it. You know, honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. When I first saw the CTP of Rage, I thought, man, I'm gonna love this thing. This is gonna make life so easy. But what I'm finding is, it's not very gratifying to play with it. Like, I don't feel like I'm doing anything. I don't feel like I'm accomplishing anything and it that sucks that takes away from your the experience of the game you know it's like I don't know man you know and, and, and look I'm not gonna look guys I got two of these things and you know I'm gonna play with them and all but and I can promise you guys something that I worry about is you know when uh, youtubers and people put out videos they're gonna be showing the CTP of rage you know like with ABX metas I can tell you guys right now, as far as I'm concerned, when I give you guys a skill rotation, I will be using damage procs. I'm not going to be using this thing to show you skill rotations. Because it just, it doesn't show true skill. It doesn't show you what you really have to do. Because most people are not going to have this freaking CTP of Rage. You got to spend money to get the dang thing. And it's RNG based on top of that. I mean, it's it gets freaking expensive, you know. And a lot of people can't do that. So, you guys don't worry, I'll keep up the damage proc action, and to be honest, it's a lot more fun with the damage proc. Way more gratifying. Yes, I'm already beat my old scores, I'm already doing better as far as a score, but if I don't feel like I've earned it, well, that sucks. 
<laughs> you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not enjoying the game as much as I did. So I'll be sticking to damage box for the most part. But as you guys can see, man, yeah, 1.6 million, man, destroyed my max 1.3 million score. So I just want to tell you guys, even though the CTP of Rage was much better than the CTP of Energy for Magneto, it doesn't mean that it's always going to be better than the CTP of Energy. I can tell you that for sure, guys. And like I said earlier, you'll see that in another video. You know, it's not, the Rage is not always the best, which is a good thing. So let me know what you guys think about the CTP of Rage. You know, you know, are you upset about it? Are you happy with it? Are you excited about it? Uh, let me know why. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. And you all take care and have a good one.